And now it's time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. This is a man we have not seen in a while since, I believe, the uh, first episode of Raw, if I remember well. This man is none other than Kofi Kingston. And tonight, he has a huge task ahead of him. He is going to set, go one-on-one -on -one with a man for, uh, who has had a ton of momentum since the draft, and that man is Zach Starr. Now, Kofi Kingston, to his credit, he is a former WEF champion, former Intercontinental champion, former United States champion. A lot of good things have happened in Kofi Kingston's career, but for this man right here, Zack Starr looks to prove himself as the future of the WEF. Now, a lot of fans have been saying this is the year that Zack Starr should be a world champion. Zack Starr, of course, was voted as the most underrated superstar of 2011, so I have to think, with that brimming confidence that Zack Starr has, and with him being on Raw, he definitely, definitely is pumped for his match with Kofi Kingston here tonight. That's correct, and you got to think that a match like this with Kofi has got to get him prepared because at lashing back, uh, he is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Hardy. And uh, I mean, you got to think that facing Kofi Kingston and the high-flying ability that he has. You know, it's got to it's got to get prepared in some way for the for the ability that the, the fighting style that Jeff Hardy has as well. Absolutely, and of course, Zach Starr determined to prove himself as the better wrestler to Jeff Hardy. You see, um, Zach Starr had challenged Jeff Hardy to a match at a uh, WrestleMania two in Extreme Rules, gave Jeff the home field advantage, got cocky, lost the match to Jeff. And you see, Zack Starr has been determined to prove that WrestleMania was just a fluke. You can see here, despite the fact that we're, we're watching a main event match with two high flyers, that we've seen a lot of technical back and forth uh, mat, mat, mat holding here. This is chain pretty, wrestling. Chain, well, chain wrestling. Either way, it's. I mean, this is this is not normally what we've oh! seen from, from these two. Kofi Kingston with a big head button, a double chop. The former WEDF champion looking to get going, and once he does, his unorthodox athleticism, his offense very hard to stop. You can see here Zach Starr determined to, to get the early lead on this one. And I think for anybody in this match, for as fast as both these men go, the faster they get this match done, the better for them. But the key for them, seeing as they both have similar styles, they've, they've got to play the game of momentum. They have to slow the other man down. They have to pick their spots wisely, and then they have to capitalize on the opportunity set in front of them. And you see Zach Starr wrestling a cleanly technical match right now with Kofi Kingston, using a lot of wrestling holds and maneuvers that we normally wouldn't see out of Zach Starr. I mean, we also wouldn't see them out of Kofi Kingston, but surprisingly, they are going hold for hold at the moment. Yes, they are. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh! Big back body drop from Zack Starr, perhaps a momentum changer. And now a Japanese arm drag. Another Japanese arm drag. Starr is getting fired up, running calf kick onto the former WEF champion. Zack Starr is getting into this. Now Kofi, there you go. That unorthodox offense coming into play as he connects with a big uppercut. That is almost vintage Kofi Kingston. Absolutely, but Star just continuing to go back and forth with Kofi Kingston. Neither man really having an edge in the opening minutes. Oh, Kofi with the counter. Drop kick to Star. Is Kofi going to go high risk? Yes, he is. He is. Cross body. And that's exactly what he needs to do against Zach Star if he wants to win. He, can get, he cannot give him any time to rest, even up from the outside. I would think, I guess, between the two of these men, Kofi Kingston would have to be the superior high flyer. No discredit to Zack Starr, but if you want to be a true technical wrestler, then Zack, you've got to keep Kofi grounded. But Kofi right now with the cover. One, two, no. For Zack Starr, the key, if he's going to be technical against uh, Kofi Kingston, he's got to keep Kofi grounded. He's got to work on the legs. He's got to keep Kofi's offense to a limit, and he has to keep Kofi off kilter. And there you go. Whoa. Nice that's drop exa kick. That's exactly how you do it. Exchange holds with him for a bit, then pull out the high-flying offense as he makes the cover. Two, 
kick out. Now, you mentioned before working on the legs. That would seem to be the obvious strategy against Kofi Kingston because aside the fact that he's a, a high flyer, I mean, you have to think about the fact that his finishing was the trouble in paradise. That is, you know, eliminating the legs would eliminate his uh, ability to finish this contest. Let's so. not forget the other moves that are notable of Kofi as he makes the cover, though. Star still kicks out. Let's not forget about the SOS. That requires him to flip over. That's going to require some leg strength. Let's not forget about oh. the boom leg drop. But Star, quick small package roll up. One, two, no. But a lot of Kofi's offense comes from his legs. So that is definitely, definitely going to be a big disadvantage to him if Zack Starr can realize that. Uh-oh, and look at this. Zack Starr getting some momentum, becoming a little too cocky about it. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But in the meantime, he has the advantage. Kofi's legs too close to the ropes, though. Zack Starr made a big mistake there. And Kofi, though, capitalizing with a big diving crossbody. I was going to say, with a match this fast-paced, you can't let the momentum get to your head because it can change in an instant. And you can see here Kofi Kingston now, Russian leg sweep working on him. I think Kofi might be thinking boom leg drop. S spiraling around like he is and wait. Oh, wait, yes, here we he go. It. Setting it up. Boom, boom, and boom. Dropping the legs on the chest and... And hey, and calling for trouble in paradise already. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? No, he no. isn't. Zack Star quickly came to his senses, now taking him down with a running calf kick. Standing shooting star press as he hooks the leg. One, two, no. These two men continuing to go back and forth. I mean, this is completely even after all this time. You would think that someone at this point would show some form of of an advantage, but this is completely back and forth. And, and well, I mean, there is some sort of advantage here, Homer. You have to think. I don't see Kofi doing this, but Star is favoring his ribs. Wait a minute, Kofi! Though, oh my goodness, look at that beautiful drop kick, Kofi! Flying forearm. Is he gonna think of another boom leg drop? No, he's not. Zack Star quickly gets up. But look at that! That right hand just dazed him. And Kofi throwing Star into the corner. Kofi, no, Star is too quick. <laughs> but completely stops him in that drop kick oh, attempt. These men are going back and forth, but you would think Homer, even as fast paced as they're going, one of them would think, how do I get the other to stop going so fast? Slow the match down, keep them grounded. Neither of these men seem content with doing that, though, as Zack Star just connects with a wait. Wait, Manny. oh man. Oh, insult to injury. That's Kofi's own boom leg dropper. That's the Star Jacked, as Zack Star puts it. That was Star Jacked. The Star Jacked double leg drop. But either way, to do it against Kofi Kingston has got to show some form of uh, disrespect. Absolutely, but seeing as Zack Star has named that move, um, that's a tough call to make, but that's not to discuss right now as Zack Star presses the advantage. Wow, he has it! And now, makes the cover too. No. And now Zack Star, you see he's finally wised up. He's finally starting to slow the match down to his pace. He knows he's... Wait a minute. Uh-oh. This might... They set oh. up. Oh, no! Oh, Kofi Kingston. Well, like, Looked like he was going to try to set up for the Star Breaker there. I mean, perhaps playing possum a little bit, but... For a back suplex there, but Star quickly gets up. Kofi, Kofi trying to it. fight it off, though, but Star not going to have it. Clothesline, clothesline, Star! Running calf kick! Uh-oh. This, this looks like it could be trouble for Kofi Kingston, and you can see here... Look at these! I felt those shin kicks. They're not good. Ouch! Right across the the temple and the head of Kofi Kingston. He could be knocked out. Here's the cover. I Kofi felt Kingston those kicking out only by instinct. I felt those similar shin kicks, and really those kicks from Star cannot feel good for Kofi, especially those last sets. But Star continuing to press the advantage. Northern Light suplex. One, two, no. 
remembering that he wants to prove himself as a wrestler, continuing to use those uh, technical moves, but... Kofi! Oh, Get that! Zack Starr was thinking high risk, but Kofi caught him! And now Kofi, Kofi pressing the advantage, calling him up! What's Kofi thinking? Diamond crossbody! Signature Kofi Kingston hooks the leg! One! Two! No! You have to wonder, what is it going to take at this point for one of these men to finish this off? This is a great main event. Wait. This is for quality here, but wait, what? I think he was going for perhaps an STO or some sort, but... Like he was going to go for Star... Or not, the Starbreaker, maybe, but both men are down and out. Look at that. Kofi Kingston just took him out, and both of these men, they're, they're tired. They are exhausted. They've got to be running on fumes by now. They both make it to their feet, but you can see here the the uh, the pace of this match has gone down. The exhaustion is showing. They are finally slowing down, but now it comes to the point where somebody is fixing to shut down. And now Kofi trying to press the advantage with a double chop at Kofi. Oh, I was thinking he was going to go for the SOS. I thought wrong, though, but Kofi... He may be thinking about another boom drop. No. Like, he might have tried SOS there, but Zack Star with a quick counter. Star! Look at what Star's doing here. Sunset flip! Cover! One, two, no! Kofi again, barely able to kick out. And wait a minute, a second dose of these shin kicks, not good, and the gusto right in the head. Jesus. This time, now, instead of going for the end, Star. Star, oh, no. what? What? Kofi able to move out of the way, the speed of Kofi Kingston. No, no. He, he, he oh. Super kick, super kick, super kick. And now. Out of Kobe nowhere, Kingston is out cold. Shooting star press. Zack Star is goes unbeatable. for the cover. This has to be it. Here's and two, three. And what a contest tonight for the main event. But I mean, Zack Star definitely able to pull out the win. This is going to be a huge victory in the case for a world championship opportunity for Zack Star. And that's definitely a big message to Jeff Hardy saying, Hey, Jeff, I'm ready for you. I mean, you got to remember, Kobe Kingston's a former WEDF champion. He's a former King of the Ring. All the credentials behind Kobe Kingston. Like you said, Homer, this is definitely going to open up some big, big opportunities for Zack Star. Take nothing away from Kobe Kingston. He took Zack Star to his absolute limit. But on this night, Zack Star stands tall in the main event. Again, you see Zack Star as confident as ever with that win. No regard for anybody but himself. And who can blame him? Nobody at this point. He fought hard. He beat one of the best WEDF talents in a hard fought match, and he did it clean as a sheep. And that's all for this episode of United, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Intercontinental Champion, Osha Jax, and for the United States Champion, Matt Homer Icorn. We will see you soon. Take care, everybody. Peace, love, and chicken grease.